My fellow Americans, I'm Robert Morrison. I'm the Liberty Party candidate for President of the United States. We have been entangled in the Mideast, Iraq and Afghanistan for too long. After two decades of turmoil there, we are yet to see either country show any progress. In both countries, tribal hatreds and religious strife rule. Both countries abuse human rights. It's time to leave them. President Roosevelt's good neighbor policy began with Canada. FDR shared a long-term friendship with Prime Minister Mackenzie King of Canada. They set the pattern for the good neighbor. We have learned over 200 years to respect our neighbor's rights. Canadians have different views on many questions. Healthcare, gun ownership, government's share of the economy among them. Our mutual respect over two centuries blossomed into genuine friendship. Canadians develop their resource-rich nation differently than we chose to do. But the Canadians did it, and in our own way, so did we. Our American experiment in ordered liberty is the best foreign aid we can give to those bitterly hostile lands in the Mideast. In none of them do the rulers seek the four freedoms to which Franklin Roosevelt committed Americans. Those four freedoms are freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom from fear, freedom from want. Because those Mideast dictators reject those four freedoms, we cannot build anything lasting, peaceful or just over there, nor can they. It's time to separate ourselves from their endless hatreds and conflicts. Now this is not isolationism. We need to strengthen our ties to free Europe, to Japan, to South Korea, to free nations of Asia. We need to rebuild our relations with Latin America. And of course, we need to encourage liberty in Africa. Nation building in the Mideast can never succeed where the rulers fear and distrust their own people and to seek to dominate their neighbors. Worse than all, these desert, desert despots use their oil revenues to enrich themselves and oppress their peoples. By returning to the moon, we can bring back renewable energy resources that will lessen the dependence of free peoples upon unfree regimes. We need to tell them, we don't want your oil or your tyranny. Trump promised to get us out of Iraq and Afghanistan, but he ordered more American soldiers over there. Vice President Biden promises to keep a residual force in Afghanistan. To do what? To succeed how? And what will that cost in American blood and treasure? Is Vice President Biden's pledge to stay in Afghanistan the reason why so many members of the George W. Bush administration are siding with him? Trump is doing nothing in this campaign except tweet. He engages in stupid, ugly name-calling. He is wholly unfit to hold the highest office in the land. Teddy Roosevelt called the White House a bully pulpit. Trump thinks it's only a pulpit for bullies. Vice President Biden deserves a respectful challenge. Why, sir, do you want to get us deeper into the quicksand of the Middle East? Mr. Vice President, we have seen no progress in Iraq and Afghanistan under Republicans or Democrats. Why do you want to keep us there? The Liberty Party has a different idea of foreign policy, and we will not get further entangled over there. We pray for peace with strength. I'm Robert Morrison. Thanks for listening.